Okay, good evening and welcome to another episode of Late Night with Soul Spice. Um, tonight, hmm. So, <laughs> I don't know what it is about tonight, but trust me, I came in a very happy mood. Now, why happy is one thing you might want to ask. Why is she happy? What's it about, you know, tonight? Anyways, there's really nothing about tonight, but the truth is, you know, I'm happy because I get to have all the time with you guys. Right, tonight I do not have any guests in. I do not have any topic tonight, right? And the reason is basically because I just want to be with you guys. So tonight is going to be another open night. And I always love open nights because, of course, when it comes to open night, I get to listen to you ask questions. I get to listen to you talk about how you feel or what you're going through. And I get to solve the problem as much as I can live on TV. Tonight... It's all about you and me. Yes, you, myself, and I. Threesome, whichever way you want to put it. Anyways, please do follow me at Talk with Soul Spice on Instagram or follow us at Soul Spice Toys underscore on Instagram. And don't forget to also follow us at This is Pop Central, the only TV station that pops up to your TV screen. Yes, all we do on this show is bring your fantasy to reality. And tonight, I'm here to just you guys. Remember I talked about um, having hangout with Soul Spice, which happened last week, Saturday. Guys, hmm. they always say whatever happens in Las Vegas stays in there, right? But now I'm going to be taking it a little bit out of that room. It was a 20-client kind of room, right? But I'm going to be gisting you guys what really went down. People don't spoil you. Like a lot of sports people, a lot of wild people, a lot of crazy, adventurous people just waiting to explore. Hunger was so spicy, was wild. Anyway, on this, I'm taking a break. And when I come back, we'll be diving straight into the calls to talk about whatever it is you want to talk about, whatever question you might have for me, or whatever solution you seek. You never can tell. I probably might just give you what you need so sit tight let your friends know call them that soul spice is here again tonight this troublesome woman this woman that let's talk about sex this sex related woman let them know yes i am back right so i'll be going on the break and when i come back phone calls straight up don't go in there because soul spice we'll be right back Okay, yes, welcome back to Late Now with Soul Spice. Like I said, it's all about you and I. Um, the truth is, hmm, let me first gist you guys. Like, let me come and gist you. See, I'm scratching my chin because I want to do Biburu. You know, Biburu is usually not allowed. But sometimes it's just okay to just talk about things that, you know, might have happened or things that has happened, right? So, last week Saturday was Hangout with Soul Spice. It was the very first edition of Hangout with Soul Spice. And I was here shouting all along, come and pay, come and register. People were for me, big boy and big girl. Little did they know that I had a stipulated timing, number of people and amount to the program. Now, I wanted a cozy, calm, very erotic event, right? So when you want an erotic event, you know you cannot have crowd. Once you have more than 30, it's no longer erotic because somehow the people at the back might not be able to see what's happening in front, right? We needed to go all out erotic now. That's how I went to book this very exotic, calm, all glass spaced room, my people. Hmm. Even me way book room, fear catch me. I didn't do much people. Like I said, we're just like 20 people. But, ha, huh, I thought I was crazy. I thought I was mad. The kind of people that came to my event. You know, when you are very hungry for adventure, like these are people who are on a normal day when you see them, they don't look it. They don't look it. But in that room, I saw a different being. I saw another personality in them. Jesus. 
Was it lap dance? It happened. Was it weird questions? When I say weird, crazy questions, people expect to answer these questions over 100. When I say weird, I mean anything, everything you can say is bad was in that 10 questions. Some people got 100 over 100. Ha! Even me, so spice. I couldn't get, I couldn't get more than 50 with all my madness. When I saw people get 100 over 100, I'm like, ah, are you boo? Are you too wild? Are you too, are you too explore? Some people have seen it all, they have done it all, they have felt it all. What else do you want to say? And at, at the point I felt so stupid, like, these questions are supposed to be hard. But they were like water to a lot of people in that room. I was like, eh? So, so I've not done anything, no. Mm. They don't know what's happening. Trust me, it was a wild experience. We had games. Games where they get to ask you questions, erotic questions, but the answers were never close to erotic. Right? I love that card. What am I? What am I card is a very fantastic card you might want to play, right? With your group of friends if you want to go erotic, but still not erotic. People were going all wild. Some people were punished. They were asked to do crazy stuff. People were willing. Like, they did a whole lot of things. When I wanted to post some part of it on Instagram, I had to blur some part like, Jesus, I ain't going to put this on my page because, God, my page might go down in 24 hours. Now, I know some of you are wondering, so people went to do bad things with themselves. No. It was not about bad things with themselves. It was about bad things with their partner. Those who went deeply erotic, went deep. Me, self, I collect neck kiss. I collect. I'm not gonna lie. Because when the video is out, so I don't be, I won't lie. I collected. But that room was wow. That room was crazy. Some people told me, eh, so spice. I went home money. I'm like, mm, my hand is not there. Anyways, <laughs> truth being said, right, there was nothing bad really that happened in that room. It was just basically erotic things, right? So the number to call is right there on the TV screen. Feel free to call in if you have any question, if you want to ask me anything, if you if anything is bothering you. If you need answers to certain things or you want to know more about whatever it is, right? Or you need me to shed more light on you know, whatever topic or whatever it is you might want to ask, feel free to call in. Back to my story. So nothing really bad happened, but it was a lot of erotic. Now, I think the greatest part of it for us was the painting session. Come and see people painting bad buttons. I painted too. I'm not blaming anybody. I did paint. I, I painted a lady wearing brown pants, right? That's what I painted. Yeah, brown pants. Some people were painting a lady's shoes with a pants almost falling off her leg. Some people painted kissing positions. Some people painted erotic lips. Some people painted. A whole lot of crazy things were done. A whole lot of crazy things was being done. Hello, good evening. Welcome to Late Night with Soul Spice. Hello. Hello, good evening. <laughs> May I know where you're calling from? Oh, no, we lost that caller. So feel free to call in. If you have any question, if you want to know anything, if you want to probe me, feel free. Right? Yeah. If you want to ask any question, basically. So the number to call is right on the TV screen. When we get a pick your call, please, 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 please. Do me a favor by turning down the volume of your TV set or muting your TV to make it super easy for me. Right? So as I was saying with my story, so it was more of the painting, 
right? Um, people painted a lot of crazy things. I think the men won when they, when, um, they won the painting session because, oh, man, those guys can't draw. Then they paint like Jesus. The guy is the one. But the room was filled with horny people. You know, there was loads of drinks. People were, no one actually got high. There was, there was alcohol also from beginning to end. There was alcohol, but nobody got high. Um, hello, good evening. Welcome to Late Now with Soul Spice. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Yes, I can hear you. Do I know where you're calling from? Oh, I just did. Ade Kitty. Lagos State. Lagos. Could you please turn on the volume of your TV set, please? Thank you. Thank you. Oh. So tell me, do you have a question or you want to tell me something? Hello? Oh no, we lost him again. Network, don't just start on me. Don't just start, right? Just leave me where I am. Don't come close to me. Just let people talk. It's very simple. Just want to talk, nothing else. So back to my story, right? Um, it was a very erotic night. No, not really night, yeah. It was afternoon to the night. It was a very erotic event, basically. Um, people had fun. People did have fun, right? And somebody already asked, when am I doing the next one? You know, I think I'm going to be doing 2.0, but it's going to be on the island. We did mainland, we're going to be on the island, you know. But like I said, um, I still don't think at any point in time do I want to do more than 30 guests because I want it to be erotic. You know, um, we couldn't even play all the games we had in mind. We couldn't do all the things we were supposed to do because we really wanted to do a lot of things and we couldn't do them, right? So, um... It was a fantastic one, trust me. Um, people, you know, people were interviewed. You know, people went crazy. Wives went mad on their husbands. Husbands went crazy on their wives. Like, jeez. If there was any couple there who didn't feel erotic, then they probably didn't deliver us. They probably need deliverance, right? Because it was a whole lot of love. People being horny. It was a whole lot of fun. You know, people laughed their, themselves out. People were happy. People were happy. Couples were happy. Though some couples still, you know, there was a fight. Not fight, fight, fight. It was a fight over, oh, no, this is not right. You are right. You are not right. Women and men were fighting over... Oh, must we love penetration? Must we not love this? You know, and there was also the serious session, you know, where we had we the um, sexuality wheel. People had to paint to life what the sexuality is, what the sex life is all about. And trust me, so many people, by the time they were done with their wheel, it's not a wheel you can drive. It is not a wheel you can drive. So many of them would, they would crash at, at just one go. It was that bad because they needed to work on a lot of things. And, and that's the reality of life, right? You find out everybody, you know, you might think is right, but everybody needs help. We all need therapy, right? And the truth is, it's not as easy as you think it is. It is not as easy as you think it is because life is a whole lot. It's a whole lot. Um, one thing I'm happy about is um, the fact that a lot of people were able to identify certain things. A lot of people were able to you know, understand that they needed to work on certain things. A lot of people were able to, you know, come to that ag agreement to say, okay, you know what, we need to work on this, you know, this is our strength. 
is our weakness. It still hurts that, you know, I had some specific games I wanted to play with certain couples, right? Games that would put them on edge, games that would make them do crazy things. We didn't have enough time. It was painful. We, we spread, I think we spent like four or five hours and we didn't have enough time, which was part of, you know, the things a lot of people complained about. Also, spend next time, start early. Don't start by one. Start by 10 a.m. Uh -uh. Or let's do it all to the night. You are who? You are who? You know, and the worst part was, no, it wasn't really the worst part, right? One of the greatest part was they had good meals. It was not a um, small chops kind of thing. No, we had correct meal. So at the end of the day, even the 20K, a lot of people paid, didn't cover for the venue, for the meal, for the game, for the fun they had. No, you didn't cover. So if you have to do it 2.0, we have to do way better and we have to do more money because we want to go way more erotic than we did in one thing. So, so if you have any question you might want to ask, if you have any thing you have, you know, you might want to talk about, you know, any question you might want to ask me, please feel free to call me. The number to call is right there on your TV screen. Um, I really would want to talk to you. I really would want to attend to my people, right? Trust me, sex is a very fantastic thing and sex is a beautiful thing. Um, one of the things I found out during the event is not everybody would like penetration. Not everybody would like sex. Now, the fact that you don't like sex does not mean you're wrong, right? And does not mean you're right. I'll come back to that. Hello, good evening. Welcome to Late Now with Soul Spice. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Can you hear me? Yeah. May I know where you're calling from, please? We are calling from From where? Hello? I am calling from Imo State. From Imo State, okay. So tell me, do you have a question or you want to tell me something? Yeah, I don't saw it. You do. So I want to ask. Hello? <laughs> Can you hear me? So we lost that caller. I wasn't hearing what you were saying properly. I think at the point it was going in and out and also. So feel free to please call us back, right? Um, if you want anything, just call us back and I'll be glad to attend to you. Um, the line wasn't clear and I think that was one of the major issues, right? I don't know what is wrong with network now. I don't know why network wants to mess themselves up and not me. But um, I, would, I would love to you know, have your call back so that we can, you know, solve this basically, right? So, yes, um, as I was saying, right, um, I said the fact that you do not like penetration does not mean it's right, neither are you wrong. But the question is this. I've heard a lot of people say, well, I don't like penetration. I don't like sex. You were created for sex. At birth, you were created for sex. Whether I like it or not. And your first experience about life was touch. Your first experience on earth. Your first experience about life. Your first experience about your, ex your environment. Your first experience about coming to this world was touch. At birth. Because you were pulled out. You were either pulled out or carried out. So touch. Hello, good evening. Welcome to Late Now with Soul Spice. Hello. Hello, good evening. How you doing? How you doing? Uh, man, where are you calling from? I'm calling from you. Okay, could you please turn out the volume of your TV set so I could hear you properly?
Hello, can you hear me now? Oh, so we lost him again. Um, he's the same guy from Imo State. Please feel free to call us back. I think we're having network issues, which is fine. But I hope it gets solved, you know, almost immediately. So, yes, I was saying that the fact that you don't like sex does not mean you're right or wrong. But the first experience, our first sexual experience was to touch, right? You were either pulled out or carried out, whichever you want to say. Now, imagine God creating you as a sexual being. So one of your objectives, you know, as human is to use your clitoris, right? To use your vagina, to use your breast, you know, to use your penis, to use your balls, you know, to use your sperm, you know, to use your eggs, you know, that's the structure, right? But somehow reality sets in, things happen, you know, shit happens, you know, um, environment sets in, and you find out you can't do one or two things properly. Or you don't like one or two things, right? So for instance, someone who says, I don't like penetrative, so I don't like sex at all. It most times isn't right because if you look at how you were created and what your body was created for, your body was created for sex. And so the question is at what point did you decide or at what point did reality set in or at what point did um, um, experience or, or actions or, or um, your past, right? At what point did these things come together to make you believe you don't like it or you don't deserve penetration. Or penetration is really not your thing. Right? Because if you look at the manual of human, the way God has created it, sex is part of it. The reason why a woman has a vagina, which is why there's a hole there, the reason why a man has a pain so he can stick it into a hole. And then you tell me also I don't like sex. I wasn't born for sex. Hey, what were you born for? Go preach the word. Do what? You say to open. So God who created did not create your body not to like sex. Reality, right, or experience is what probably might have made you get to that point of saying, you know, I don't like sex. But what is the function of your body? How was your body created at birth? You were created for sex. You were created for sex. Right, so the truth about it is whether we like it or not, sex is part of us, sex is who we are. We can't change it. You can't, you can't take it away. You can't just pull sex out of who you are to say, I'm complete. You are not complete without sex. Now, that being said, when I say you're not complete without sex, I'm not saying you're not complete without penetration. Don't get it twisted. You are not complete without sex as human. Because ordinary touch... Right, essential touch can send you to paradise. So when I say sex, I don't mean penetration every time. A lot of people don't believe sex has a penetration. No. You can, you can actually have a full sex without penetration. It's a process. As long as you go through that full circle of sexual activity, without penetration is fine. Right, because the truth of the matter is you are a sexual being. And so if you have a sister or brother who says, oh, I don't like sex, sex is not my thing, then we need to go back to the background. We need to go back to the foundation. We need to go back to the beginning of their sexual life. At what point was this mindset included in them? At what point was there a shift in belief system? At what point was there a shift in body structure because God created everyone in his own image. So sex is is God's own. Sex is not God big time. And so when we have people who say, I don't like this, what we need to do is vet it and go back to the foundation of why they do not like it. What made them not like it? You cannot say you don't like what you have never tasted. And so at what point did you taste that thing, right? With who did you taste it? At, um, at what location, you know? At what time of the day did you taste it? All those things come to play for us to merge it to know, okay, this is what the problem is, and then you can get a solution. So trust me, 
I don't see Jesus Christ. I'm not built for sex. <sighs> What's your tattoo for? What's that prick for? You are not built for sex. You are built for what? You are built for chores. But leo, and I'm not built for sex. You know, some people will say, oh, when lesbians say I'm a lesbian or I'm bisexual, I hear people say, oh, they don't do it that Danny, when they fuck you up. You, you, you denounce being a lesbian. But the truth is, it's not about the penetration still. Right? Hello, good evening. Welcome to Late Now with Soul Spice. Hello, good evening. Good evening. May I know where you're calling from, please? I'm calling from Lagos. My name is Karim. You're calling from where? Lagos. Lagos. Yeah. From so, Yanoba. Yanoba. Okay. Yeah. So do so you I would have... like to contribute to the show? You said what? I would like to contribute to the show. Okay, go ahead. I can hear you. So I have a girlfriend that doesn't like sex. So I don't know what to say about it. I don't know if I should jump her or I don't know, sir. What happened to your girlfriend? Know. You have a girlfriend. What's wrong with the girlfriend? There's no wrong with her. So, she doesn't like sex. Yes. So what have you tried to do? Surely, surely just me to kiss her and just touch each other, sir. But whenever I want to try to put my hand inside. Whenever you want to put your hand inside, what happens? Oh, we lost him. So he was talking about putting his hand inside. I don't know where he's putting his hand, if it's in the pot or in the plate or, you know, or probably under the tap or in the sink. I don't know. He wasn't specific of where he was dipping his hands into, right? But I want to believe two things, either the vagina or the mouth, right? But when you say you have a partner who doesn't like sex, like I said, it goes back to the foundation. At what point was there a shift? It's like a robot, right, that was created to clean. All of a sudden says, oh, I don't like cleaning. Then you have to ask yourself, what went wrong? Is, is there a faulty battery? Is there something that has, you know, has gone awire? You know, something definitely must be wrong because there is a product, right? Humans are God's product, right? He created us in his own image and he created us sexual beings. And so when you come to say, I don't like sex, then we need to vet you. We need to ask you what the problem is. Because you were born to love sex. Right? You were born to love sex. And so when you, when you claim or you, when you come to that point of saying, you know, I don't like this, I don't want to have anything to do with this. You need to have a rethink. Anyways, I'm just going to take a break. And when I come back, we'll be talking more and taking more calls on what you might feel you want to ask or what you might want to know more about. Because Soul Spice will be right back. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Okay, yes, welcome back to Late Night with Soul Spice. And if you're just joining, I say welcome back, right? Or you're just welcome. If for adventure you're just, you know, scrolling to your TV channels and you just find this pretty face, just calm down. Don't touch that remote. Just put it down, right? Don't change the dial. Just look at me, right? Um, this is Late Night with Soul Spice. And all we do on this show is bring your fantasy to reality. Tonight has been an open mic show where you get a call in, ask us any question you might want to ask or anything you might feel like you want to know. Trust me, I've been gisting a lot of people about what happened over the weekend. But that being said, right, the truth is this. People had fun. Anyways, um, tonight is an open mic show and people have been calling in. You know, before I went on the break, I was talking about how God created us, right? And we're born for sex. So if you have anyone who doesn't like sex, who doesn't like penetration, who doesn't like to be touched, who doesn't like anything sex related, then like I said, we need to find out what the problem is. Um, the last person who called complained about his girlfriend, not wife, his girlfriend not liking sex. And I'm going to put it in a different form. One, she's the girlfriend and not the wife. So um, she probably feels, if you don't put a ring on it, 
there's no point. One. I'm not saying that. I'm just giving different examples. Two. She probably really might not like sex. Right? Not because she doesn't enjoy sex or she doesn't want to have sex. But because probably she's not, she doesn't enjoy what both of you share. Don't forget, you're not married. Even a married woman says, sometimes, what they enjoy. Right? That's the thing. There could also be probability of her having you know, experiences in her past which you were not aware of. You know, and that probably might be part of the trauma you know, she has to deal with. And which might be the reason why she doesn't like sex. Um, a lot of people go through a lot of things. But not everybody has the power. Not every woman or man has the opportunity to explore. See, there are some people you call explorers. They have explored almost every part of their sexuality. They know they have tried everything. Good, bad, ugly, terrible, whatever it is, extreme, they have done it all. Right? Um, does that mean that person a wicked person? No, it just means that they are probably finding themselves. You know, they want to know more about what their body can do. There are people who just want to know more. What can I do? You know, apart from this and that, let me stretch myself a little. Right? Maybe. Because when it comes to sexuality, you probably never can tell what you would love until you experience it. When you experience it, it's easier for you to do what I love I don't love. Hello, good evening. Welcome to Late Night with Soul Spice. Hello. Could you please turn down the volume of your TV set, please? Hello? Okay. So, like I said, when we get to pick your call, please turn on the volume of the TV set so that we don't get echo in the studio. Right? Always turn on the volume or mute the TV. It makes life easier for you and for me. So feel free to call us back. Um, I really do want to answer whatever question you might want to throw at me, right? But when we pick your call, please, please, and please turn on the volume of the TV set. It is very important for us so that we can have a clean... Um, audio. Hello, good evening. Welcome to Late Night with Soul Spice. Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Hello? Are you sure these people really wanted to call the show? Or if it was a mistake? Because I could hear them, but if I didn't hear me. Right, so please, if that's you, feel free to call us back as I would be right here to take your questions and answer as much as I want, right? So I was talking about, you know, sexuality and how people were created. And I said touch was the first thing, you know, is that you were pulled out, carried out, or whatever it is, right? And for some people, yes, touch is the first. And the second experience, a lot of babies get is a kiss. A kiss at birth. You know, and whilst you grow up, you say, well, don't take it. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, she's pretty. Yeah, we know. We know. Right? So the truth is, everyone is a sexual being. But if you find yourself not loving sex, if you find yourself not liking sex or not wanting to have sex at all, then you need therapy. Please note, this is not me giving full um, breakdown of whoever that is body. So you know, so I said I need help. So I said, no, right? Do the proper thing. Go to the clinic, they'll run test for you, check for you out, and let you know if there's an issue. Okay, welcome back to Late Night with Soul Spice. Um, um, I really want to apologize for that um, timing that we had to take just to check the mic. But as it is, nothing is actually wrong with the mic. People can hear me and it is very okay in the studio. I just needed to do that double check just to be sure, you know, when my guest or when my viewers at home complain, it's just proper that I, you know, take a look at it. Right. Thank you. Anyways, we're still talking about, you know, um, tonight being an open mic. If you have any question you might want to ask, so let me also apologize for the people who were calling whilst we were on break. 
we couldn't, people that just didn't want to waste your data or your credit at that point in time. So feel free to call in back now that we are live and um, you can just take it from there. You know, um, so mm, I'm trying to remember what I was talking about before I went on a break. Okay, yeah. I was talking about those who have been caught in bed having sex. Abu has been caught one, once. Um, <laughs> um, someone has been caught twice. Who else has been caught? Karim, have you been caught during sex? Okay, so you don't even have sex. Yeah, I get it. Who else has been caught during sex? Caleb. You're a virgin. What happened to edible lubricant? Let that sink in. So only two people have been caught in the studio. Wow. Truly, would I be right to say you guys are virgins? But then I think people, um, well, we talk about, you know, people getting caught during sex. Happens to basically two major people. Well, the married people who have kids around, right? People who get engrossed, who get carried away. You are doing and you are, you are forgotten that you did not lock the door number one. You know, when that conji hold you, you nobody remember locked door. And in your head, you are telling yourself, oh, the, door, the door has been locked. No, it's been locked. Uh -uh. I, I locked the door. Did not lock it. Did not lock it. Right? Um, the couple of stories on my page. Uh, I didn't post all on my page. So let me just go to Telegram to read the ones I didn't post on my page. Now, the reason for this is because we're trying to move our people to Telegram, right? Um, you know, so that's, that's it. So let me, just read, let me just read these ones. These ones are not on the page, though. Like I said, you have to be in Telegram group to read these ones. Um, okay. So this one says, I'm a male escort in Lagos. I met a lady last year on IG who stays in Abuja and invited me over. She told me she likes spontaneous sex. So we went out for a drink in a lounge. After, after a while, she went um, to use the restroom. I decided to follow her there after like five minutes. She was about coming out of the restroom when I met her. I pinned her against the wall. She was wearing a gown, but no panties. Oh. <laughs> okay, back to the story. So spice, focus. Her kiss was so wet, and I fingered, and I finger fucked her. But she told me she, we should do somewhere else because anybody could walk in on us. Um, I drove around and finally found the lonely spot. Told her to come sit on my dick. And we fucked intensively, right? She was riding my dick. I was sucking her nipples. And we both came. She told me she wanted more. It was at the middle of... I was at the middle of the second round that I raised. <laughs> that I realized that we were being watched by a passerby. And when I confronted him, he said robbers were operating not far from us with Jackpot. It was after I got home, I remembered... I remember to remove the CD. At least, thank God you wore a CD. Because from the way, you know, you gave the story, it didn't sound like you even wore a CD at all. I was very skeptical, like, did this guy even remember to wear a condom? Please, if you want to have a one-night stand, I beg of you, protect yourself. Don't have a one-night stand that will stand you up for the rest of your life. Don't. I'm not here to talk about, don't do it. Don't have one night stand. You are old enough. If you have sense, you are old enough. So the consequence is yours, right? But do not go on. Because she's pretty, because she speaks good English, because she's rich, is not enough to go all out without a condom. Because you know just yourself, you don't know the other person. And so you might want to be careful. So yes, um, the number to call is right on your TV screen. If you have any question for me, if you feel like you want to tell me anything or you just want to gossip about something like that, that might have happened that you are aware of, anything, it might not be about you. You know, one of the things we do in therapy is when we want to ask questions, we tell people, oh, let's do the third party, you know, question thing. 
because in sex, a lot of people say, I don't have a question. I don't have a question. It's a life problem. But shape will not let them ask questions so that you don't stigmatize and tag them as, I know this house is never stepping with her. You know the book kind of thing. But that being said, right, um, if you have a question, if you want to know more about anything, if you want to talk or share, you know, how you feel at this point in time, please feel free to call the number on your TV screen. Um, the number is right there. Just call, right? Just call. Trust me. You know, so talking about um, being caught sexually, the truth is, uh, have I been caught sexually? So let me throw it open. Do you think I've been caught sexually? You know, whilst having sex, do you think me, Hannah, Soul Spice, has ever been caught by anybody during sex? Ah, yeah, I think so. I remember one, but I remember two. Caught by the same person. The same person. You know, um, what else? I want to be sure, but I'm not even caught outside in the bedroom. Mm. Trying to think. I can't really remember, but I know I've been caught by the same person twice. And, you know, I had to just talk about it with the same person. You know, the person um, felt so shy, the person wanted to run away. Ah, don't run, sit down, let's talk. We have seen this, we'll talk about it, you know. And it was, it was, it was a very fantastic experience for me. You know, talking about sex and sexuality with the other person f feeling so comfortable, right? Um, the truth be, 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 you know, be told, right? Sex is, sex can be crazy. And sometimes when you get into the heat of it, you lose control. You don't remember anything. You don't remember to lock the door. You don't remember to check if somebody's coming. You don't remember to check if you're wearing the right panties or the wrong bra or like, <sighs> when they touch you the right way, you will remember, trust me, right? And um, <sighs> excuse me, that being said, it is just right that even when you're having sex or whilst you're having sex, please use your brain. Please use your brain, right? Um, one night stand is not something we joke with. I understand the phone. Or you go to a sex party where everybody's having sex and you want to watch, you want to feel good about it. Mm. It's okay. I'm not saying it's bad. It's not in my space to tell you, oh, going for a sex party is wrong. You go to hellfire. That's not me. My job is to tell you, enjoy it. But I put you to your head. It's like, you know, our parents will say, ah, don't let any man touch you. And then you find yourself kissing the man or kissing the guy. And you'll be feeling so much. You can't even see your thumb just, you know, boo, 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 boo. can I explain it? And so you cannot go home to your parents. Okay, we have a call. Hello, good evening. Welcome to Late Night with Soul Spice. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Could you please turn on the volume of your TV set? Good evening. Good evening. May I know where you're calling from, please? Hello. Could you please turn on the volume of your TV set? Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Okay, so we lost that color. Um, feel free to call us back, right? Um, so as I was saying, right, it's not a bad thing to get caught. The question is, who is that person? You know, um, and so I'm saying this basically because of people who have kids. You know, if you're that parent who have a child and your son or your daughter provincial walks into you know, on you having sex, or you are done having sex, or you're still naked, you know, with your partner in bed, and your child or your kids walking on you. 
the first thing you expected to do is do not let that child out of your sight without any explanation. Do not let that child out of your sight without proper explanation. Proper explanation that that child will understand based on their age range. So, for instance, your daughter walks in on you having sex or you're, you are done having sex or you're probably, practically just, maybe, both of you are just naked talking and then you have, oh, uh, give or take, like a, an eight-year-old walk in on you. Don't forget, eight-year-old is smart enough. An eight-year-old knows things. An eight-year-old can speak. So at the same time, an eight-year-old can record mentally. And so when you have an eight-year-old walking on you, the first thing you want to do is let that girl sit down. Do not let that girl go. Right? Discuss with the, with the child. Now, never assume they saw you. Always ask, what did you see? Right? Let them be specific. What did you see? If they say, well, I just saw, uh, uh, I didn't see you. I was just passing by. You know, that was not ready to talk. Right? But the truth be told, right, when you sit these kids down and explain to them that, okay, you know what, God created sex. Sex is good. Sex is fantastic. But there is a time for everything. I always say, if you get an ice cream, you're not going to put it on fire for you to melt, for you to drink. You will never do that because you are in and out, you know. You want to take it cold. And so imagine getting a cold ice cream and putting it on fire for it to melt. And you want to take it hot. It will burn you. That's what sex is all about. So sex is there, right? Let the child, sex is not a bad thing. Please, what are those ways to say, oh, sex is bad. If you do this, you die. You're not going to die. Even if you get pregnant, you're not going to fail. Right? But the truth is, when a child walks in, you always find out from job, what did you see? Because you, you need to know if the child saw you having sex. Did the child just see you lying down? Did the child see mommy on top of daddy? Or did the child see daddy drilling mommy? You need to be very specific. So when you understand where you stand, when you understand what she has seen, they can deliberate on that thing. If it's a guy, deliberate on that thing as a man. You know, to, to, to puberty level, you're going to grow. Or you're... I was talking to my son this afternoon. And he said, oh, mommy, I'm just eight. You know, I'm not growing. You know, I, I want to be a teen. I said, no, calm down. Enjoy the process. Because soon you'll be a teenager and you're completely I'm tired. I want to be a baby. You probably just send me an errand. I want to be an adult. I want to stay by myself. Oh, now, they're an adult. They say, now come, they're giving you your complaint. I want to be a child again. I want them to control my time. See that now. that I know it's late. I enjoy it. And so when you explain to that child what they have seen, let them know that it is okay, right, that you're having sex as a married person. Now, please, this is for those who are still married. Don't go and be a random guy. I'm saying, hey, no. Right? And it's okay. But you don't want to take your ice cream hot. You want to get cold, which means it has to be in the freezer for a while, which means you have to take your time until it's time for you. Right? Until it's time for you. And that's the reality of sex. So do not go telling your kids, stay away from men. Oh, if you thought you would die, you were not going to die. But the process is let them know the good or bad. If you go near a guy, if your house is you get pregnant, let them know. So they will not be the one to, dec to decide and determine which works for them. Do I want to stay long? Do I want to even talk to my mom about it? I'm not comfortable telling my mom about how I feel or, you know, or whatever it is the guy I like or the guy that likes me at all. The truth is never let a child go without any explanation because you will mess up that child for the rest of your life. You will mess up that child. But when you let them explore, you explain to them what what is, how it's being used, how it's not being used, then you make it easy. Then you make it easy. Right? Um, whether we like it or not, children will always be children. Kids know what's happening. They know more than you. They know more than me. 
And I always tell if you don't teach them, someone else will teach them or something else will teach them. So the body is in your court. Would you rather they learn from you or they learn from the wrong place or the wrong person? You have to ask yourself that question. And so for every time you find out that your child probably bumped in on you or your son bumped on you, sit that child down, talk to them and explain to them what they say they have seen. Not what you think they have seen. Again, advise them based on what they say. Right? What they say to you, how they say it. The choice of words they use is what you use in return. Right? So that they get to understand you. So it is what they have seen that you will not deliberate on. Because it's very important that we discuss this. You don't just... You know, say, oh, thank you. See, okay, bring it home. Who takes hot ice cream, right, and doesn't get burned? So you have to learn to wait to when it's time. And so that's the reality of a lot of people. Right? When you find out that your child is sexually active or your child has an idea of what sex should be, right, Floggy won't solve it. You just need to one detach your child from whoever it is they are getting it from, they are connected to, whoever is showing them, whatever it is you don't like. Right? Because kids will always be kids. So always surprise your kids come first. When it comes to sex, talk to them, teach them. It's th- it doesn't mean they're gonna go with what or they're gonna go out and do whatever it is you see, no. All you're doing is putting the cards on the table, the good and the ugly. So you say, you know what, pick your card. If you come on pregnant, it means you're on this side. And then gradually you help that child understand where they belong. And so parents need to get to that point of understanding that, you know what, (laughs) your kids are very important. They're very important. And so the best you can do is train them well. Give them the idea already. Let them know. That way it's way easier and it helps everyone. Right? It helps everyone, including that child. Because if you don't say it, if you don't teach it, if you don't speak it, something else will teach, someone else will talk, and someone else will read the story. So the truth is we need to understand as parents that we need to speak our truth and let our kids know. It helps them and it makes them go a long way. Right? It helps and it makes them go a long way. You can't deny the fact that, you know, you need to talk to the kids, you still have to. Right? So that being said, that being said, right, do not at any point in time just neglect the child. Now, not just that child. Now, for those who have multiple kids, one, once you find out that one has found you in that act, after talking to that one, have a general meeting with all of them. Because that one will still go and tell them what he or she has seen. I saw. Hello? Hello, good evening. Oh, we lost that color again. Uh, network. Okay, anyways, I'm going to be taking a break. And when I come back, we'll be taking more calls. Hopefully, network gets to behave itself. Network has not been nice to me today. And um, I'm not happy. Trust me. I'm not happy about it. But that being said, I'll be going on a break. And when I come back, we'll be taking more messages and more calls. Don't go and go so far as a break. Oh, we have a caller. Hello? Hello? Oh, we lost that person. Anyways, I'll be going on a break. When I come back, we'll continue with our calls. Don't go in because those guys will be right back. Okay, yes, welcome back to Late Now with Soul Spice. If you're just joining, I want to say welcome. This is the last segment as it is, so you have missed a whole lot, but not really. 
right? This is so spicy success, and all I do is bring your fantasy to reality on this show. Tonight, we've been having an open mic where you get to call in and ask questions, you know, but as, well, Network would have it. Network has been, has really been a whole mess for us this week, right? We've not been able to uh, talk to a lot of people because they probably couldn't hear me and I couldn't hear them at the same time, right? So tonight, we are having an open mic, regardless of what Network decides to do. So yes, I want to say welcome to Late Now with Soul Spice. And, um, you know, one of the um, things I was talking about before I went on a break was the story that was sent in by one of, um, of course, you know how I do my story thing, right? And so this was sent in and we're talking about what you would do if you are caught by your parents. And what would you do if your parents, your kids or your friend, your neighbor walks in on you? What would you do? You know, um, I think it's no big deal, especially when you're married. It's just that thing for you. Right, but if you're not married, we are still tired. You were explaining tired. Hello, good evening. Hello. Oh God, we lost that caller again. I think there's something wrong with the network now. It's not. Just, it can't be one person doing all of this. There's something wrong with the network. So network, please, for orgasm and for ejaculation, please give us, you know, our network back. Hello, good evening. Hello. 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 Good evening. Yes, good evening. May I know where you're calling from? Hello, good evening. Could you please turn down the volume of your TV set, please? Turn down the volume of your TV set. Oh, we lost that color again. Network, what is happening? Right. Um... It's a whole lot of mess when network starts to show itself. Anyways, we are um, talking about, um, you know, people who went to, what's that topic now? If they've ever been caught, you know, whilst having sex. And the answers I got was not enough for me. I'm not going to lie. It's not enough. Let's read the story. Right? This one says, um, good day, ma. My own story is weird. You have to be here, weird, really. Uh, my friend has this former colleague she's always talking about. <laughs> Hello, good evening. Welcome to Late Now with Soul Spice. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> oh, okay. Now we know it's the network, right? This person says, um, okay, so. My fiance has this former colleague. She's always talking about that, talking about that the guy has a big dick, but he seems he's gay or bi. Okay, one day we ran into the guy at Domino's and she introduced us. The guy said he just relocated the battle. Um, we became close because of football and. Uh, Okay, football and PS5, basically. One day at the gym, I noticed the big dick. He caught me staring and told me to come touch it. Like, are these things real? Because all this is now, inside point me, I see him. Inside point, when you go to the gym, and you miss one, and you say, yeah, do you want to enjoy it? Do you want to touch it? Do you want to feel it? Yeah, come, let me. Does it really happen in real life? Of course it does. Um, one day, he came to play a game. At my house, I was started fucking. Only for my babe to walk in on us right in the middle of the session. She told me she has um, she was going to Lagos, but missed her train, and she came back home. Strangely, she insisted on watching us, and told us to com um, continue. She said she knew something we were. She knew something we were doing. Um, Okay, she knew, she knew something. We were doing things under the disguise of football and PS5, but we could not continue because he lost direction and I was not feeling comfortable with it. 
I have stopped talking to him, but my babe won't stop talking about wanting trouble and wanting to watch us. We have been, we've, um, we have had numerous fights over this. Okay. So there's a lot of things in this story, right? The guy with the big dick. Ah, oh, the guy with the big dick. But if he does not use his big dick well, it will be to a very disadvantaged level for him. Right? There's also um, the place where this person said he, um, he or she kept something. Right? Um, okay, let me read another story. But this one I'm going to my page. But before I go to another story, so this one also talks about, you know, um, uh, talks about playing game, coming to the person's house to play game, and then they end up fucking. Like, how does game correspond with sex? Except you're watching an erotic movie, which I don't think they were watching anyways. But that one, that one is gone. Right? Um, she also talks about you know, her friend what coming in and wanting to watch. Like, why would you even want to watch two grown adults when you're not watching porn? You know, and those ones too are ready to unpack that table just so that this person can stay. You know, it's it's a crazy world out there, trust me. Hello, good evening, welcome to Late Now with Soul Spice. Um, good evening. Good evening, may I know where you're calling from? I'm calling from... Could you please turn down the volume of your TV set, please? From Potako. From Potako. Okay, do you have a question or you want to join the conversation? I want to join. Okay, please go ahead. Could you please turn down the volume? Okay. Turn down the volume of your TV set. I can see here myself. Please. Mm. Or mute, just mute your TV because it's giving me feedback here. Okay. Okay, go ahead, please. What I wanted to do, the tiny word, the peak. Is what? What, like, the axis. Okay, I didn't get you. The line was breaking. You were asking something about the dig. Yep. What happened to the dig? Why is it that? Guys are, whenever they are, they are friendly. When guys are what? When guys are guys have big dick. Okay, when, when okay, guys who have big dick. Yes. So what happened to them? Why is that when I the girlfriend don't normally scream? Okay. Why is it that they do what? Normally scream. They normally screw who? Scream. Shout. Oh, who is screaming? The girl or the guy? The girl. It's a big dick now. Why won't you scream? It's a big dick. Why won't you scream? All nice small dicks. Say people they scream, they cry. Let's talk about big. It depends. So when you say big, it depends on how big are you talking about. I was talking about ten inch big, twelve inches big. How big is your big? That's the question. Because when the dick is big and you're inserting in someone and you keep pounding and pounding and pounding, knowing that it's a big, it will eventually turn to pain. So it's no longer about pleasure. It's no longer about, oh, I can't do without. No, it's now tilting towards pain. And not everyone is open to pain sexually. There's a lot of people who have a little bit of pain and more of sugar, right? They have pain. They have, they have, they can sustain, right? Right? They have the sweetness part of it. Because some people find sweetness in that pain. Hello, good evening. Welcome to Let Now with Soul Spice. Oh, let's talk again. But I will say some people find sweetness in that pain. You hear what ladies say, oh, if, it, if my husband does not beat me, I cannot enjoy it. If I don't get drunk, I cannot enjoy sex. No, that's not how you were wired. That was not how you were born. And so whether I would like it or not, reality sets in. So the truth about it is this, right? People need to get to that point to understand that, you know what? Fuck it all. And I realize that as you grow older, you know, once you get to that 35, 40, 45, you get to a point of no going back. You look back and you're wondering, 
This is all. There's basically nothing out there. Trust me. There is nothing out there. And so the truth about sex still remains that sex is one of the sweetest things God has created. So let me read the story from my page. Okay. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Oh no, network again. So I, I don't I don't think we should pick calls anymore because it's it's really not working. It's really not working. Trust me, it's not working. Network is just going in and out. And this can be very annoying. It can be very painful. When people are trying to call in, they've been calling in back to back, but we might say hello, network is gone. And for those who even get to call in, you can't even hear. You know, the guy who called in talked about big penis. Um, why do um, girls scream? They will scream because the penis is big for crying out loud. Hello, good evening. Oh, we lost our color. All right. It's big. Do you know what I'm taking the big dick? A lot of married men who have men with big dick are telling their husband don't have a side chick. Right? And for those who are not married, who are even trying to showcase what they have to their partner, they always run away. They always run away. So men with big dicks, even by themselves, are frustrated. They are tired of women not wanting them. Because when these guys, when they climb you, you're in trouble. Once they climb you, you are in trouble. It's not easy. Hello, good evening. Welcome to Late Now with Soul Spice. Good evening. Good evening. Men, where are calling from, please? Hello? Ah. Uh, network. Trust me, it can be painful. It can be annoying when... Network keeps messing you up. You know, not on a day like this where I try to say open mic and people are free to call in. Network is messing us up. So what I'm going to do is we probably might have to plan another episode for open mic. Hopefully, network gets to stay. Right? And then, you know, we can talk better. Because it is network has done its own today. Network has really dealt with us today. You know, people not being able to hear and all. Okay. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Man, where are you calling from, please? I'm, I'm, my name is Emmanuel. I'm calling from my doorstep. From my doorstep. Okay, do you have a question for me or you want to join the conversation? Hello? Oh, we lost him again. Oh, today has been a very special day. A very special day, trust me. Right? And then, uh, hello, good evening. Yeah, good evening. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Man, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Traverse State. From Traverse State, okay. Do you have a question for me? Good evening. Could you please what? turn out the volume of your TV set, please? I keep saying it. Turn out the volume of your TV set, please. Ah, oh, we lost that color again. You know, the more you get to pick your call, please turn down the volume of your TV set so that it makes it easy for us to hear and get the feedback, you know, the right way and not the wrong way. Um, a lot of people are just humans, but they're not sexual beings. People want to explore, people want to enjoy, people want to do a lot of things, but they still need a helping hand. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Man, where are you calling from, please? I'm calling from Ajambadi. From where? From Ajambadi. Ajambadi, okay. Do you have a question for me? Yeah, from Ajambadi. Yes, go ahead. I can hear you. Ajambadi, Ajambadi. Yes, I know. Go ahead. Do you have a question? 
So I just feel that's the last comment I want to take for this episode for today. Trust me, it is very important that you know I keep to my side of the story, right? So I'm going to say this: um, explore as much as you can, explore as much as you want, right? Um, you have one left to live. Enjoy it, live it, take it, let it be yours. You know, write your story. Don't write someone else's story and put your name out. No, write your story. It might start small. You never can tell where it's going to end. Right? So to everyone, please, love men with big dick. <laughs> Trust me. There are so many men out there who are big dicks and it's frustrating. They want to cut it. They want to reduce it. Because for every time they show their girlfriend they have the dick, the woman's gone. The woman is gone. So even those who are for big dick, it's not as easy as you say it is. It is not at all. You know, but we we'll wait to see what the outcome would be like. Right? We we'll know what the outcome will be like. And trust me, men with big dicks too, they need, they need love. You know, um, you can learn or teach your partner how to get down with you. Even though I know that men get to a point where during pension, when they, when they get carried away, forget it. They don't, they don't hear what they gain. They are just gone. You know. But these men also want to have a wife. These men also want to have a girlfriend. These men also want people around them. They don't just want anybody. Right? They don't just want anybody. So the truth about it is, whether you like it or not, whether you have a big dick or not, you still need to learn how to use the big dick. Unlike a man who has a normal four inch, he probably may not need to learn much. But for someone with a big dick, that when it's huge and long, you have to learn how to use it so you don't go too deep. You don't penetrate too deep. So like she doesn't bleed, she doesn't have pains, and she's not bothered you know, about urine, um, urine. But when you just dive in, you're not bothered about these things, you'll mess her up. So I hope every big man there with a big penis would someday, somehow, find the woman of the dreams. Trust me. I know it's not an easy task, but you're a man now. Just pick any girl. Or like women who are in the waiting room. Right? So, um, yeah. It's not a bad thing to have a big dick, but use it well. Trust me. That's the most important thing. Use it well. Anyways, thank you so much um, for tonight. Um, it's been a fantastic one, you know, gracing your screen again, once again. Even though Network did us dirty, um, I have no regret, you know, being with you. I have no regret at all. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you so much for trying as much as you can. Thank you so much for constantly calling, you know, because you wanted to speak, you know, or ask questions or whatever it is. So um, I do want to say do have a fantastic night. So I come your way again. Same station next week. Um, I can't wait to be with you next week, Tuesday. You never can tell what we're bringing or what topic we're talking about, but I can't wait to be with you. So I'm going to say, do have a fantastic night. Love you all till I come your way again next week. Bye, everyone.